Oh, hello everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the Orion Login with SMS plugin, which is a free WordPress plugin on WordPress org. And we're going to learn about how to use it with Ring Capture API. Okay. Now, what is this plugin does is basically it allows your user to log in without their username or email or password either. Okay. Well, they can log in with their mobile number if the mobile number is registered into the database. Okay, so it's going to be pretty simple, pretty easy. Even if you're not a developer, you can still follow it and use it quickly. Okay, let's have a look. We give you an option to choose between six top SMS gateway APIs. We're going to be adding more in future. If there's one not listed down here, and if that's something popular, and you want us to include that, let us know. We will consider it. Okay. So let's see how do we do it. So first thing we're going to do is basically just add some settings. Okay. And we're going to need to select a ring capture here and it asks you for API key. Now what you can do is you can log into ringcapture.com. If you aren't registered, you can register it uh, on it and then you can log in. And once you do that, just click on my apps. And then you would see this app key you see that here okay copy that in fact this one first so you need to copy this one this is the API key I paste it here and then it asks you for username or app key so my app key is this I'll take this and I'll paste here and that's it okay then the next information we need from you is that where in WordPress the mobile number information is saved because that would help us verify when the user number user enters the mobile number whether it exists in the database or not whether it's registered or not okay so usually WordPress saves that information um, in form of some meta key okay so we need that meta key I'll give you an example okay so let's say if you go to your database in PHP my admin and this is my WordPress database I click on WP user meta I click on browse and then I just select one of the users who's registered and you can see that this is the meta key this is the meta value and I'm interested in we are interested in meta key so our meta key is this which is mobile number I'll just copy it okay and this is the mobile number saved so I'll just copy it and paste it here okay then it asks you whether or not it is saved with the country code. So as you can see, mobile number is not saved with the country code. So we'll just keep it like this. If it was with the country code, we'll select yes, which means that if it had a country code as a prefix, if it was with a plus sign, then you just check if it's with the plus sign, like if it was with the plus sign, you will select that. Otherwise, in our case, it's just going to be in our case, it's just going to be no because it doesn't have a country code prefixed. So we'll just keep it no. Okay. Next up is that we need to know the country code because that's the information that's going to be displayed onto the front end. So in my case, I'm in India, so I'll select that. You can select the country that you are in and where you want to use it. And you can select the country, uh, sorry, the phone number length. So in my case, it's 10. I'll select that. And this is pretty interesting. The apply adaptive style so basically what it does is it goes uh, the pl the plugin form that is created the the uh, pop-up that's created is going to adapt to the style of your theme which means it's going to help you save time because you don't have to hire another developer to do the additional styling for you it's going to be responsive as well and you know even if you are a developer you don't have to spend time in styling the form because it's going to adapt to your theme style and the look and the feel okay you'll see that in a moment Now, the next information that we need is basically uh, whether you already have a button uh, or you want us to create a button for you. Basically, this what this button is going to do is that when the user clicks on that button, which, which is going to be in the form, somewhere in the login form, then it's going to open a pop-up and on the pop-up, he'll have option to enter the mobile number. Uh, if uh, you know the mobile number is registered, he will get a message with a verification code and if he verifies it correctly, then he will be locked in. Okay. So 
in my case I already have a button um, so let me show that to you so my WordPress local install is here Just uh, login and my login form is here at slash login okay okay as you can see I already have a button even if you aren't a de developer don't worry just do an inspect element and just copy something unique like a class name or an ID so I'll pick up class name from here and I'll paste it here and make sure you prefix it with dot if it's a class name if it's an ID then prefix it with hash okay so I'll do the dot because it's the class name that I have and I'll just save changes and that's all you have to do if you didn't have a button if you want us to create one just give us a selector of the login form a class name or an ID okay if the form doesn't have an ID or a class name look for its parent div and give us the class name for that and enter it here okay let's stick to this and that's all we had to do here let's come back onto our login form let's close this one and you will see some magic well if I click on this there you go you've got the uh, pop-up which is created by the plugin and as you can clearly see we spoke about the uh, up, uh, adaptive style okay so you can see the font family the font size is very similar to the theme that I'm already using uh, which is 2019 okay uh, WordPress default theme and the input look and feel is the same uh, the button looks similar you can see so look and feel is the same so it doesn't look like it's coming from a plugin it appears that is part of your theme okay awesome so now let's see if this plugin handles the errors or not okay so what about validation well if I click on it I got an error that please enter a number if I enter less number of digits I should get an error right let's try that yes you did well because you selected 10 digit uh, in the WordPress dashboard that's why you see 10 over here you will see a different number in, uh, depending on what you chose on the dashboard settings okay so this time what we'll do is we'll put the correct number of digits which is 10 digits but we'll put an incorrect mobile number and see what happens okay let's try that okay well user not found of course it will not allow you to log in if you're not registered user if your mobile number is not saved into, into the database so it says user not found which means you can't log in so you have to put the correct one okay so this time what we're going to do is we'll put the correct mobile number and see how that goes. So I'm going to put the correct mobile number. So let's send. And there you go. It's sent and you should hear a beep in a moment. Let's try. There you go. So you got the message. Let me show that to you. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so let's try to enter uh, incorrect information and see if the plugin handles the validation. Okay, so I'm not going to enter anything and let's hit the verify button. There you go. You can see, please enter verification code. If I enter the incorrect one, what do you expect to happen? Well, it should not allow. Verifying verification code is invalid. Awesome. That means everything works great. Last but not the least, we need to now enter the correct code. Well, you guys did say what the code was, right? Why didn't you guys tell me? Yeah. Right. Absolutely. It's 9967. Okay. So I'll put that 9967. Now, what do you expect to happen? Well, what should happen is that if this verification code is correct, which in this case it is, then user should be logged in. Let's try that. Click on this. Verifying you are now logged in awesome guys great now how do we check he's logged in let's try to go back on the same page and i should not see that form should i no i shouldn't try it there you go you don't see the form you see a logout button why because he's logged in great awesome so you saw guys how simple how easy it was to use this plugin if even if i'm not a developer i don't have to worry you know you have the extensive documentation available you have the tutorial you have everything you need and it's super easy super simple within a few minutes you will have this available and you can use it with any plugin any themes uh, it's going to be translation ready uh, you get free updates and it's fast and secure you've got react on front end which makes it super fast so you got everything that you need okay 
So if you did like this uh, plugin, then please go ahead and try it out and please share your positive feedback onto the WordPress org. And if you did like my video, please do subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button, smash it. Okay. And uh, do like my video, add your comments. And if you have any questions, you can always ask. And uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Imran Aitsayat. Okay. Awesome, guys. So I will see you next. Take care. Bye-bye.